Hola a todos y todas. Es un placer darles la bienvenida. Good morning to all of you. It is a great pleasure to welcome you to the fourth presentation of the webinar series of early childhood development. Before starting, I would like to tell you that this webinar will be given in Spanish and for English speakers, we will have simultaneous translation. In English, I will briefly tell you how to connect to this service. I would like to tell you that this webinar is, will be held in English, in, in Spanish, with simultaneous translation in English. Uh, on this slide, you can see the steps to follow to use this tool. If you are using a desktop or a laptop computer, please use the web browser Google Chrome, as this tool doesn't work with other web browsers. Then access to the following link, interpret that world, and insert the token Spork webinar. After that, please select the SRC source option. And finally, mute your audio on GoToWebinar and enjoy this presentation. If you are using a smartphone, please download the Interprefy app and insert the token Spork webinar. Mute your audio on GoToWebinar and enjoy this presentation. You will also find these instructions in the chat once we started with the presentations. Dicho esto, quisiera presentarme. Mi nombre es Cecilia. Having said that, I would like to introduce myself, Cecilia Chavez, technical advisor for the program Global uh, Partnership for Childhood Development by the German Corporation. I will facilitate this webinar. Today, it will be a great pleasure. I will, will like to give you an introduction to the series of webinars since it is an initiative that wants to share knowledge, lessons learned, and practical tools related to the application of policies, strategies, and comprehensive policies designed to reach families and children at their early age. Uh, we will be sharing today with you the experiences obtained throughout first childhood, early childhood development. Chile grows with you from Chile. I would like to tell you the agenda of our webinar and introduce you to our panel members. Our webinar will be started with a very brief presentation on the program. Then we will have the presentation of the Minister of Social Development and Family of Chile in the intersectorial program Chile Grows With You. We will hear from Janet Lewas Vasquez. She is a social worker with the students within parenthood, positive parenthood from the Foundation American for Childhood, social protection systems from the universe, Catholic University of Chile, from the intervention of family issues at the University of Chile. She has over 20, 12 years of experience on the public sector, on municipalities, regional ministers, and today she is responsible nationwide of the Chile Growth with Use of System at the Social Development and Family Ministry. Then we will have the intervention of Patricia Nunez. We will share with us her thoughts and comments uh, according to the presentation made by the Ministry of uh, Family Development. Patricia Nunez is an anthropologist with a degree from the University Complutense of Madrid, and she has a master's in medical anthropology and international health. She also has a degree in University Rovida, Virgil, and she has international experiences on public policies in social protection, child, early childhood development, and education. She also has worked on projects related to early childhood development, and since 20. 15 has been officially working at UNICEF at the Early Childhood Development, uh, an official at the office of UNICEF in Chile. Then we will have a session of around 40 minutes of questions and answers. That is why we invite you to 
send us your questions on the chat so we can read it to our panel members when time comes. If the time is not enough to answer to all the questions that we have received, we will be publishing the answers at the platform socialprotection.org. And finally, we will conclude our webinar with a brief summary and some findings. Without further ado, I would like to start with the introduction. The implementation of public policies to promote early childhood development is based on a solid body of evidence from different disciplines such as neuroscience, psychology of development, economy, and behavioral sciences. There is a consensus that these types of policies are a highly cost-effective investment for countries in several areas that enables to equal development and overcome inequalities from social behaviors. Since 2007, in Chile, comprehensive early child development program, Chile Rose With You, is set up. Cross-sectional is a key component to deploy all com tools and actions in order to go in that journey of early child development. It, its design and management will be described to us. Its main key components, the results obtained nationwide, and the actions of this public policy. Janet, it is a great pleasure to give you the floor. We are all eager to hear your presentation. Hello, good morning to all our audience that is attending today. Uh, for me, as a representative of Chile Crece Contigo, Chile Grows With You, it is very uh, important to participate in this webinar session where we had some difficulty to agree on the day, but finally today we are able to share the experience of Chile Grows With You. I cordially greet all our friends that are coming from different continents to join us. I will start with my presentation. I'll forward some of the slides uh, that uh, Cecilia has just described to you. As I was telling you, I will be to t talking to you about the experience Chile grows with you from its genesis, from other of the results that we have obtained so far. As Cecilia was telling you, the first part I'll do it quite quickly because I understand that all of the participants at this webinar, we already have some notions of what it means early childhood development. and also the social uh, challenges and the impact that that can have on childhood development. So now I will be skipping some slides in order to concentrate on our experience. This public policy 2005, 2006, we already had some investment uh, studies uh, in place uh, to that year. There was no in childhood uh, program in Chile. Uh, so we started to create a cross-sectional committee of ministers for, in favor of a childhood that put together all these proposals and in turn to set it up in 2007 Chile grows with you. Uh, by 2008, we had already had a national wide coverage. And by 
2009, we create the law where we institutionalize uh, Chile grows with you. In spite of having changes in our administration, it has become a law there. It will be remaining uh, in time. For 10 years, we had no regulation. And by 2017, at the end of 2017, we approve the regulation of that law, which means that the users, the family, can have access to certain guarantees and they can have effective claims and where we can guarantee the delivery of this benefit, the regulation as law guarantee access for 60% of their nursing and technical assistance whenever required for the 60% that are the most vulnerable part of our population. Another important highlight is that we have created the sub-ministry of childhood. Then we create a new institutionalization for childhood. Chile grows with you, then becomes a part of this Subsecretariat by 2019. So we are being part of this uh, Subsecretariat of Childhood. Some of the parts of the policies that are quite important to mention is that in the policy of development and definitions, and the ministry will be heading Chile Grows with You, that includes budget. Uh, from the Minister of Social Development and Health, M MDSF, we coordinate all the offer to coordinate the subsystem, and we have agreements with other ministries, such as health and education. These agreements enable us to execute the benefits according as they have been set up. And that the minister can play a role for monitoring, for key indicators that will be measured during the implementation of this subsystem. Then we transfer resources to health and education to execute some of the programs in case of the Ministry of Health. We transfer the money to, to the municipalities of the country. This agreement, the mayors have to commit to undergo to all the formality, formalities to give the benefits of our program. Then they have to be accountable for the Ministry of Social Development and Family, not only technically wise, but also on key indicators. And I will give you more detail further on in my presentation. What is Chile Grows With Me? It is a comprehensive protection system for early childhood that offers personalized accompaniment, uh, promoting its comprehensive development of children since gestation to the age of nine years. We give a set of benefits that are called universal benefits for children in combination with other differentiated benefits, that is for children, either boys or girls, with social or economic vulnerabilities that will be measured through a tool where we will be measuring the vulnerability of the families in order to give them access to this benefit. There are other types of benefits that are universal for all of those that are vulnerable. Maybe children that will suffer changes during their development. How does it work? Well, here, this slide, you can see on the outer part, all the benefits received by the boys and girls. Those are benefits at the territorial level to 
respond to the needs of the children at the different regions. We have a programmatic offer that is called public spaces for bringing them up. And then we will have a program of support that is a municipal strengthening program. It is installed in the entire country. We also have benefits that are universal, addressing the entire population through a program that is called educational program. When in addition of educational material that is given to have health control, we then I will be talking to you about another program there. But this program mainly it has information spaces, interactive spaces with the families, with the citizenry, through social uh, media, the weekly broadcasting program, where we'll be addressing different topics. Uh, we have invited different experts according to the needs of our users through uh, social networks. We have also a telephone assistance line that uh, responds to the family concerns that have to do with the upbringing of their children. Then we have a program or benefits are addressing at, to children that are the public health system. Chile has its health system divided into public and private care. 82% of the population normally attends to the public system. There we have benefits for that cover 62% of our population. One of these programs is a biopsychosocial program, Chile Grows With You in Health, is being executed in the different health centers, family centers, with uh, benefits associated to gestation as well as children from zero to four years of age. At the hospital levels, we also have a program that is support to the newborn, that is the delivery of uh, all the kit that they need when they are born, and mental, child mental health. This is a pilot station that has been increased each year, and we expect to reach the entire population in a middle term. For 60% of children that suffer from highest vulnerability, that's 60%. As I was telling you, we have benefit as access to um, child care, and when they have at risk, then they are sent to different areas, access to financial assistance, unifamily alteration on their development that are um, lagging behind, assistance for people or children that have a disability, and we give them access to public programs. We also have a program that is installed from at the school level for the children that are on the first level of transition. Here is what we call pre-kindergarten, that is when children reach the age of four. And then we give them a kit to promote games, and that is support for comprehensive development. I will give you a little bit more of example when I will be talking about the e indicators and the impact. A very important aspect of Chile Grows With You that is at the core, that has a local expression that is very important. And then we have what we call 
The municipal network, the municipal worker, is installed at the territories through origins um, uh, at the municipality level. And then we have a responsible of that municipal network for Chile grows with you. It will be coordinated, the network, at the different regions or municipalities. It will be calling for the different institutions, either health or education, that are present in that area to benefit the development of children. At the core, we have the family, children, their parents, and then we have different pro benefits that will report respond to their needs. Everything will be coordinated by this responsible of the municipal network. This is part of the strengthening program that I mentioned a while ago. How can we follow up on the cases that are participating in Chile grows with E. Well, we have a registration and monitory process. It is an IT uh, program that enables us to monitor the process of development of from gestation. Then we create alerts to activate timely all the comprehensive benefits during the time of development. They are being registered, as I was telling you, and then we monitor them. Those are, will be um, universal and differentiated benefits. We have a health control, and then we target get certain risks. When we identify those risks in the system, we create alerts and then we have experts that are being identified according to this alert that are being activated that will be intervening for their to implement their solution so not only we get the alerts but we need to see what will be the concrete solutions. In indicators, how they are doing, what, is, what changes take place. The idea is that this is for this system is that we can optimize follow up of cases, provide an efficient report for territories that will also help us to make an efficient use of resources as we execute so we can deliver according to the subsystem. So this will not be possible if we didn't have a budget. We have a yearly budget. It, we have here all the program. We have scheduled 12 programs by law. This plot shows how we allocate a budget since 2007. We began with $4 million. And as we, uh, as time uh, went by, the budget increased accordingly. And today, in 2019, we have $82 million. As a takeaway message for the countries that are implementing their public policies in childhood is that they shouldn't begin with all at once. It's best to start with a, sm a smaller amount, and this could be increased uh, year after year until you reach the optimal amount, and certainly Along the way, you will have some new prob problems, some changes in the different programs under execution. Uh, so uh, good advice that we always present is that you should start with your base design, perhaps with the lowest budget that you can, and then you can grow accordingly. And how has this turned out? This 
a public policy for childhood. I am presenting a few of the figures, not all of them, but this is for you to have an idea on how this has worked and we have measured the impact. Crece contigo, Chile grows with you, has a continuous improvement system based on this program. So every year we have different internal and external assessments of the impact from the uh, direction of budget from Chile, the press assessment on effectivity, experimental evaluation of the Nobody's Perfect Parenting Skills Workshop executing from this program, cost-effective evaluation on the infant development support. There is an implement national implementation survey, also indicators on how we move forward and strengthening the national survey of implementation, qualitative evaluation, and so on. Every time we have an evaluation, we take note and we follow on the improvements, mainly uh, on the surveys of uh, user satisfactions, because we measure the level of, of satisfaction or how the needs of families change across the time. We implement on that as well. Well, also the impact evaluation of the system that was conducted in 2012 shows that it is possible that in a good implementation context of Chile grows with you when benefits are incorporated during gestation, childbirth, and the first months the program has a good effect. There is the national survey of health between 2016 and 2017. Main achievement was delayed and lagging, a reduction in a delay in functional development in boys and girls between three years and three years, 11 months, showing that. So we can conclude and we can compare that in 2006, we have 25.1% of delay. And in 2017, we dropped that figure to 11.4. So this figure shows the importance of integral accompaniment of boys and girls from gestation with this focalized and have programs according to these needs also allows us to have a positive impact in the development. Also, we have assessments of the core program and psychosocial programs. In general terms, it shows also a positive result in global terms. There are some publications and papers and different documents where the impact Chile Grows With You has on the global development of boys and girls and the importance of conducting an intersectorial policy. This is not easy when you need to mix, blend, and coordinate different secretaries with a common purpose at the core. So there is a lot of material available, published, regarding what it means, this system, intersectorial protection system for childhood. These are some figures regarding some indicators that we measure. One of them, it's about percentage of childbirths with accompaniment where we reach a 70% nationwide. This chart, I will leave it for you so you can see how it behaves in our country, these indicators. This percentage of accompaniment and also part of the management activities that we conduct 
we add local and regional teams and we report how we do and how they can improve their own results. Also, we have indicators of breastfeeding with percentages reaching up to 94% nationwide. This is from 2018 and an exercise in the previous slide that was shown on how this behave in some regions and we can visualize their behavior. This is a comparison bar chart from 2014, 2018, how Breastfeeding behaves in the first quarter, the third month, and the sixth month. This is also measured. As for children with psychomotor development deficit and when they have the stimulation therapies, they it reached 90% nationwide. Coverage on these has grown across time. We have installed stimulation rooms across our country, and with these, we are able to answer accordingly to the needs. And we can enroll boys and girls with some uh, delay. Also, for children, for years of age, it has a coverage of 60,000 yearly deliveries. This is a, a room that answers to not enough space in households for children to play. This is a partnership we have with the Ministry of Education when we wanted to have games and plays as a favorable uh, aspect of learning conditions of boys and girls. More than deliver some type of tool of some educational character or more formal as a table or as a desk or color or, or pencils, we want to promote a playing space. And this is how we replace play as an important factor for development. That is why we believe that this aspect has allowed us to install some uh, subjects to discuss not only with health, but with education as well. And we have uh, we have tried to coordinate. They have a more positive engine now to achieve uh, important results. As for actions from the community or municipal network, as I was telling you through this information platform of Chile Grows With You, we can learn about the results of these actions. This chart shows us that we are below our target, but still it is important to say that when we began Chile Grows With You at the enrollment, and this is from the Ministry of Health. As time goes by, went by, we needed to answer to the needs of people. So, so we have follow up on the resolution of this the resolution of actions and in 2018 we reached less than 10 percent of actions resolutions which was a pretty low result for us so we have worked specifically with groups in municipalities for some time now in order to increase this level of resolution and I would like to say that we are duplicating, sometimes we are triplicating the actions resolutions, and yet still we are not reaching our target. We have managed to progress in the completion of local objectives, and we must recognize this, acknowledge this, that even of the multiple actions that take place in these territories and uh, we need to record this in the platform, we have achieved uh, good results, little by little. Also, I want to tell you 
that in our educational programs, we have social networks in our daily interaction with citizens. We have more than 240,000 followers in social networks with more than 300,000 hits in our, per month in our website. We have interaction chats where they ask us questions, we answer and we select some topics so we can prepare uh, dedicated material or upload topics or radio programs answering to actual and daily needs as they upload them and ask them through our social networks. We also have a YouTube capsule. They these capsules are about child raising topics and the different development stages also uh, answering to parents needs so i invite you to visit these youtube capsules they are really good they have good takeaway messages and they alleviate some type of the stress that comes with childbearing families. Also, we have an active role with parenting. We generate different materials. We add parents. We talk about active parenting. We discuss topics regarding reconciliation, family work, because we need to have this perspective and how they have a uh, uh, how they can have tools to to answer to the needs for boys and girls because development of families are based on daily activities. So as you can see, this is really broad what we are approaching in this educational program. And if you need to further on the details, we can do it uh, in other platforms. And some takeaways. From the perspective of governability, I think it is important to propose solutions of policies which are steady through time so they will maintain if there is a change in a government that they continue with us, that there is a, a follow up, a continuum. And also, if there is a, a need to change the program, we need to do that according to the reality. Also, we need a quality in the design of policies based, evidence based uh, with Latin America and based on the experience of communities building with citizens and putting in the core the quality of implementation, have a technical guidance and accompaniment in the implementation that should also be permanent with good monitor devices. Before beginning this implementation, there are all, there might be some difficulties mainly based on the registration of the platform. After we implemented this subsystem, we needed to have some IT modifications, and this has been a bit gradual because the system started after we had implemented this subsystem. Also, it is important to disseminate and segment the services according to the risk accumulations of families. We need to work grouping some alerts in order to answer with different intensities and also promptly and establishing terms when there is an accumulation of alert signals in some families. The path to identified health and education services it's important, but we should always bear in mind social protection and everything that it's about subsidies, housing, family dynamics. And the truth is that this is a big challenge for a single ministry. It also needs to have a broad scope. Chile grows with you. We have the duty also trying to find 
access for social benefits from the Ministry of Social Benefits trying to reach to more boys, girls, and families that need so. We need to have assessment models in order to systemize learning and adapting to it. Also, if we need to adapt our programs, this should be always uh, for the benefit of families. And some challenges that we have We must, we must have a standard implementation at a country level. We started working by at a local level, then regional, seeing how we can secure uh, our actions, how the indicators are showing us, uh, also having different solution alternatives according to the problems we encounter. Another challenge is to improve mechanisms to for demanding benefits. Citizens play an important role because it is them that also monitor the benefits that they are entitled to. This is also a work from the educational program because they come to us and ask us why uh, they didn't receive the material or perhaps they had, uh, were waiting for something and it was not delivered on time. and. That is where we know that citizens do know about the benefits they are entitled that, and we are working in that direction as well. Also, we are working on how to improve these mechanisms to demand this, not only from the social institutions, but also from the community. Also, we need to strengthen our provision to vulnerable groups, as I was saying, access to preferred uh, benefits. This is a permanent challenge of Chile Grows with You, but also from the Ministry of Social Development and Families. So we need to move forward to that direction and answering to this because the most vulnerable groups of the country are people in extreme poverty and or children that are also on quite complex conditions and we need to act uh, and respond quickly with our upper interoperability of information systems is also a very important challenge to face. Obviously, when there is a registration system, you can interoperate since the beginning with other platforms. We know that that is quite complex because health has one system and collects a certain type of information, education, another one to, to standardize all the different variables in order to have interoperability among them is something that is complex, but not impossible to do. Today, we are piloting interoperability with a health system at a country level. Chile Grows With You is trying to include all its information. So in short term, the equipment will not have to record the information in two platforms, but in a single platform and that the different operators could have access to that information. Uh, maybe I went too fast on that, but it is important if you want to deal with some specific aspects, I will be happy to uh, do so. Thank you for your attention. On behalf of all of our audience, I would like to thank you, Annette, for, for this extraordinary presentation or audience. I wanted to tell you that don't forget to send us your questions. Use the chat box to do so, and you can do that even during presentations. Now I will give the floor to our commentator, Patricia Nunez, that will be giving us her thoughts and comments on the presentation made by the Ministry of Family and Health of Chile. Just a minute, please. Well, first of all, I want to thank the invitation. This is a space to be able to talk of what has been presented by 
Crece Contigo Chile, UNICEF Chile, since its onset uh, during the design process of protection early childhood system has been working constantly with them. It is quite close to, we are quite close to what has been done. So the view that I will be giving on the experience of working with Chile growing with you and highlight some of the aspects that seem to me that are quite relevant to the work that they are undergoing and the principles upon which it has been designed, created, implemented on a constant process of improvement or collecting learnings in order to change some of the things that can be strengthened. First of all, I wanted to highlight regarding Chile Crece Contigo, Chile Growing With You has to do with concept issues that is behind its design and implementation and ongoing learning process and changes. It has been implemented since 12 years ago, uh, so it is a process that already has collected a lot of learnings and that has a knowledge of how to make it sustainable even when there is change in administration. I wanted to highlight some of the assets that have always been present in the model and behind any of the changes that has ever been done during its maturity process. First of all, I wanted to tell you that, yes, indeed, there was a bed during the original design and implementation process in regards to the fact that all the people that are working on early childhood, they know about the importance of investing in early childhood to reduce the inequality gaps existing in the country. And the evidence has proven that investing in this first early childhood is a way of moving forward since children, since the beginning of their life, will receive the, be the same benefits. That is something that has been always in mind during this process. It also is a model that puts the child on the center, but connected with its family, society, and the regard is how from the political public policies side we can be working in an environment that will be creating the right conditions so family and children can be developed in the best way possible. As Jan was telling us, there is a set of intervention of actions within Chile Grows With You program that are targeting community and family and cultural elements of the society, not only direct intervention with child and family throughout the contact of the different programs or public services with which the child is related to, but there is a regard of how to be working with the families and public policies at large. Another important thing is that has to do with this principle, with this uh, statement that they all have rights. That is according to the Children's Convention rights uh, that forces the states, compels the states to guarantee uh, early childhood development for all. It doesn't mean that all actions must be made or me be made available to the society and the same supports to this happen. It means that everybody must be supported according to its needs, according to its conditions, according to what is required. So everybody will have the same opportunity of developing. It also assumes that it is reflected in what Janet was showing us of how we create interventions according to the different types of populations, or we take into account vulnerability rates of the child or its family to the poor a strength and support for those populations that require it the most. Some of the elements that we 
believe have been key during this process. When I talk about processes, when I highlight that it's not only their design and implementation, but there is a process throughout all these years that there has been a maturity, um, decisions have been made that have changed in large. Chile grows with you, have opened new lines of work, and that has given them a view of things that have to be strengthened, reinforced, redirected, because the vision of uh, Chile grows with you is so important. Something that has been very important since the beginning, and it has been mentioned as an advice to other countries that are trying to implement a type of a type of a strategy for early childhood, but all that already have one in place and want to improve it, you have to consider what is existing right now. The platform existing at present is being built upon uh, what we um, did is to identify where there was more contact with the children and its family was throughout the health system. Around 80% of the children go to the public health uh, care areas, and that is a very important number population wide. And the, contact is quite intense because in the early age, you always have to take your child to that health care facilities. So coverage-wise, at the Ch at Chile size, there is a lot of adherence uh, to attend to those social health facilities. Uh, we do not have the problem of parents not taking to the children to the health facility. So pregnancy control and early childhood health care has the, been developed and there's a great contact with the family. So that is why we chose that place to reinforce the different actions that in a certain way would have an impact on improving uh, early childhood development, education, and all social protection systems that are available are considered and made available, something that is very important and that's still important during the process of Chile Gross with you is to have the latest evidence available. The importance in early childhood is that there's a lot of evidence, but there is something that is very important. The evidence that the system can generate according to how management is done, what is the turnover of the population, what services they are attending, and we have to be reviewing continuously not only the evidence as it has been shown, but also the evaluations on the system, see the administrative data that is given to us by those systems in different regions of the countries where we have seen some graphs where we have more accompaniment and then where we have to reinforce a birth and we're not, and where uh, we have to put all, all resources in place, and that enables us to have an ongoing improvement uh, strategy in place uh, to face uh, the greatest challenges. And another thing that had to do with the beginnings of Chile Grows With You that is quite important, which you showed that you have been shown the timeline of the different actors that played a role in its creation. But we know that the, at the presidential level, it has been highly supported and also by the DIPRES, which is the budget department. So we had to put in place a public policy that has outreach the, our country throughout the years. This has been very important to take it into account. The support that can be that has been given by the decision maker and high authorities of our country is very important for a type of a strategy of this kind will be working, will be growing, will be improved, and then can incorporate its learnings for more improvement. 
Another topic that keeps on being a challenge and will keep on being a challenge because of the nature and the character of a system like Chile grows with you and a policy that is intersectorial has to do how you are provided differentiated services according to the types of families. This is something that at the design level, at the paper level, you can say it very fast and you can say that it's uh, somewhat logical, but um, there are huge challenges, how to identify timely that there could be a risk of that child development, how to identify that in a family there can be a type of vulnerability that will be affecting them also and that you have to address what are the tools or instruments that you have to improve or make available in the country and how not to lose that opportunity. In case of early childhood, it's fundamental to be timely because if there is a layback on the development of a child that you have to trigger uh, the right solution you cannot take three time three months time to solve it if you have identified a vulnerability if there's inter household violence, well, you cannot take the risk of waiting to identify it uh, further on on time. You have to act immediately. When talking about uh, nationwide public policies, it is a challenge that it's not easy to address. It, ne it needs efficiency on behalf of the states and they have to set the steps to make it happen. Uh, you have to be doing a very important work with the networks, municipal networks, and that, but because of its design and because of its outreach, you have to be reviewing the different mechanisms to reach and be there as soon as possible with interventions that are required. In the activation of the network, Chile grows with you, it triggers a series of services. It's not that Chile Creces Consigo is one program that will cover all the topics that has to do with the development but it follow ups on the journey of the child or is it development, but it triggers the programs that have already been created, education, on social protection programs, they have to activate it and register them. And that is a, quite a challenge when you are talking about intersectorial management. All countries know that this is not easy. You can define common objectives, but you have to constantly be working and reviewing in working together and how to make available mechanisms, tools, budget, aiming the best development of the child. Um, and to highlight an element that from the UNICEF perspective seems to us quite relevant about Chile grows with you and that oftentimes we uh, forget to mention is since it onset, it has had a view, very strong view of working with family and the community. Yes, you do the journey of the child, but you don't know separate the child from its environment where it lives. That is the follow-up tools are all always looking at what's going on with the family throughout educational program. You have to send messages uh, through the web, through the broadcasting programs. You, Everything that is created to be spread as news has to create a favorable environment around the child. And this is aligned to what had been launched in 2018 much way after the creation of the program, but aligned to the principles of Chile Grows With You. And that is the frame, nurturing care, 
framework that puts its view or focus on how to create the condition for communities and families or caregivers can ensure that uh, children have good health, are well fed, have protection contests that will enable them to develop properly, uh, have learning opportunities, and have interactions based on love and be sensitive to their needs. This uh, focus, this approach, is a topic that for Chile and Latin America at large is quite important because of the rates of violence on the households. According to the most recent data, seven out of 10 uh, have violence around them. Uh, so this has not moved too much in the recent years, but in 2012, we say that seven out of 10 children suffer violence from their caregivers. And so this is really a topic where we have to be working on constantly. And yet, you can say that there is a line of Chile, Chile grows with you along with this and they call like respectful childbearings and conditions for the care and how we care of caregivers, families and how we provide tools. So in order that children will grow in more protective surroundings with them, this is all I have to present. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Patricia, for this great presentation and your wonderful reflections as well. And now, after this rich dialogue and discussion, our participants have some questions, and I will share them with you. Please, I invite those participants to ask your questions in our chat, we will read them along the minutes that we have left. We have one question from Fernanda Potenza, and the question is about continuity of public policies across time. And to Janet's comment in the particular case of Chile, and Fernanda wants to know that given the continuity of this program, which stakeholders you think have contributed to this sustainability? And I would like to add an additional question because Janet also mentioned in her presentation how she highlighted evaluation. So perhaps if we link this continui continuity, which are the most valuable assessments that you have, and if you need to select this because continuity is related on the evidence, as you show the evidence of the results and the strength of programs and the program design of this. So I invite both Janet and Patricia, if you can comment on this and share your input with us. Well, thank you. Well, thank you so much for your questions. The truth is that part of continuity of public policies, as Patricia was saying, the first thing is the, the political engagement to install a policy of this size and also the financial commitment, because with no resources, we cannot execute anything. It can be a very well designed and written program, but we need to execute. And continuity also needs a law to guarantee that this policy or system, whatever you are implementing, will not go away, will not disappear if it is included in a law. And also, I would say 
that everything that is in writing with other stakeholders like agreements of transference are a great mechanism for continuity so everybody will define the roles in this intersectorial policy. This is regarding the questions of who are the most important stakeholders, not only authorities, but also the role each sector needs to assume. And this should be clearly uh, written in a document that we call agreement. And this facilitates uh, the work enabling continuity. And also, if you need to modify it, you should according to the evaluations. Now, regarding evaluation, Cecilia, which would be the most valuable? So, or which is the most valuable evidence in order to sustain or modify something from the system? Because we have so many. So, which are the ones we uh, take into account? Based on the experience of Chile Grows with you, we have done a thorough consideration on evaluations on impact of cost effectiveness also because they help us define how expensive a benefit is or might be and how can we have a more efficient use of resources and everything that is related to our users satisfaction we evaluate and we uh, report uh, a program and the evidence states that we need to guide this but sometimes what we see that on some territories that is not the priority of families perhaps they need another intervention and this poses another challenge because we have to be based on the evidence but also with responsibility according to the family's needs this user's perception allows us to perfect our these public policies I would only like to add briefly that, yes, Jan Janet mentioned different mechanisms that help us link sustainability of Chile Grows with you, with the law, with budget agreements and agreements in general. In this sense, different countries have found different roads on how to progress installing policies for early childhood. Some countries first do this beginning with the legislative aspect, other countries with the smaller projects. And in Chile, the option was, the solution was to design how it was. We didn't have a pilot program because we had a gradual progress on the implementation. After one year, we had the program in all the country. And two or three years, I don't remember, it was in 2009, we had the law of Chris Chile Grows with you. And one of the objectives was that this should be included in the law. So it would not be easy that with a political change of a government change, this could disappear. Regardless of this, and if all of these instruments are regulatory and administrative, they are fundamental to sustain this across the time. We need to have an instrumentation perspective of Chile, the ministries and other partners as UNICEF and organizations from civil society that can see the value of this and have been strategic in the implementation process of Chile Grows With You. So 
they have been a type of force. So whenever we have a weak spot of Chile grows with you that perhaps resources not cut but were reduced because the country has different priorities. We have other partners that help and they are parts of the pillar sustaining this or perhaps uh, experience in another country uh, that they are c copying us. Well, not copying us, they are taking some of our elements. And with these, we have uh, a greater strength installing these. And it has helped us improve whatever needs improving. And uh, we are on the right track to, for growth. So uh, partners are also an important part around this type of polit uh, strategies for our policies. Well, excellent. Thank you so much for your answers. We have more questions. The Another question is regarding the strategy of Chile Grows with You. Janet, you were saying that it is universal, but also stratified. And Patricia also underscored this with her comments. And you were saying that you measure also vulnerability and poverty of, of families. Can you explain the stratification process and which are the tools and methodologies that you use? And once you identify how you modify intervention to have a specific differentiation of needs of each family. Thank you. Well, the Ministry of Social Development and Family has different or has a measuring tool to measure vulnerabilities that has change names and it has changed across time. Currently we have what we call social registry of household. This is a technical aspect in territories measuring income, household, num a number of people in the family, different variables that give us a percentage of vulnerability per territory. And we have benefits addressing the 60% of the most vulnerable families of the populations. This is part of the regulation of Chile Grows With You vaccines, technical help, and also social benefits like monetary benefits, subsidies uh, for the families or maternal subsidies in case of pregnancies. Also some other benefits like house visitings for people in greater risk or income uh, enrollment to these stimulation rooms where children have some type of disorder and these are included in this 60%. There, there are other benefits provided for the 5% uh, most vulnerable population. This is about the design of programs of the Ministry of Social Development, including also another system that it's called uh, securities and opportunities. There is a program for accompanying families. It is a social labor. So families will overcome this extreme vulnerability situation. And also Chile Grows With You, we have other opportunities for families which are in greater risk of vulnerability. I don't know if with these I answer your question. I have nothing to add. Okay, excellent. So now the next question. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. And the next question is about the 
information platform. I think this tool is basic because it is an element of intersectorial element uh, coordination in the different levels of government. So which type of indicators you think are the most important for follow-up? And also you s uh, talk about alerts, which are really important for in this very short and valuable period of the first 1,000 days in the lives of children, because you cannot uh, delay in addressing them. So which are the key indicators on this platform, according to your experience? Well, as I was telling you, we have a close monitor and how it is used and how territories answer to different opportunities. So we design a series of indicators that we call key performance indicators, KPIs, that are not only about enrollments, but also regarding the number of what we call sectorialista, which are the services available in a territory to answer to a specific vulnerability. As an example, if we have domestic violence, yeah, somebody from the social area answers to this. If we have a liability issue, there should be a profile answering to this vulnerability. Also, we need to secure, as you say, assure that there is a sector answering to a need. We also measure actions before each alert, meaning I receive a case and I enroll this in some program, executing on some action and the resolution of the alert. The action doesn't mean that this is solved. So we measure the solution and the opportunity. Uh, Patricia mentioned also how we get to the families in time uh, promptly, how we promptly activate a solution as required because perhaps a case perhaps is accumulating several alerts representing a negative impact in the development of children. So we measure the opportunity, how many days until we raise the alert and the sector answers with an action. If somebody would like to have further detail on these indicators, I can share them with an email uh, so you, you can see this. And this is all including in different categories and yields a global percentage where we measure effective management of local networks and in front of the cases we are intervening. This is part of the monitoring and accompanying process on this development path. I don't know if Patricia would like to add something. Well, yes, I would. A more in general aspect regarding the system of Chile grows with you. In the different countries that are implementing these intersectorial strategies in early childhood, they have an important conversation on how to have an information system integrated that allows this intersectorial aspect. Each country has different mechanisms to record information. Chile is a country that has good information systems uh, online, all the national information system of health system. These are large platforms that include administrative information and it is available as Janet was saying with interoperability, how they enable these systems and also how uh, to have confidentiality for each stakeholder that is allowed in these platforms. 
on one side, all the discussion that not only in Chile, but also in other countries, how to have integrated information systems in parallel and with their own uh, challenges of local uh, administration in, at a macro uh, domestic, but locally they develop their own strategies to share information, to have follow up on their cases, and oftentimes they have this conversation with the systems, but they develop another strategies because they need to solve other things uh, according to the process. So this is really interesting to research to pick up experiences on whatever takes place in the territory. As a strategy, we created one, a first study and approach of what was happening at the local level with management issues. And it is quite interesting to see how local, at a local level, they are creative in their own way of uh, being done and then they are developed to adjust to this insectorial demand. I wanted to mention this because it is important for many countries to know how to move forward. But yes, uh, at a local level, they can contribute with many uh, things. Thank you so much. Um, excellent. We have a comment from coming from Fernanda Potenza, she is asking us that she is eager to have access to these indicators that you've mentioned. So we will be putting you in touch so you can share that information. And then I have a last question because of the time we still have left. It has to do with the local role that uh, has led us to the answer of the previous question, that is municipality involvement in uh, Chile grows with you. I think it plays a fundamental role. This person that is responsible at a municipal level, maybe it plays a articulation role between municipality and central communication or with the rest of the program or the system. So I would like you to tell us a little bit what is that figure of that person, that coordinator? Uh, how do they communicate with the central area? Who participates the most on that network? And what is the profile of that person? Do they have some, uh, do you have any suggestion of what will be the best profile for this person that will be responsible at a municipal level? As you were saying correctly, Municipal strengthening is essential for us. They are our eyes on the field. And to ensure this figure, it has not been easy. Um, it was back in 2007 that we saw the need of having it with it while implementing Chile Grows With You. And that is when we realized that we needed to guarantee a figure, a person that will enable us to activate a network to call for the participation of health, education, housing, social protection, the judicial cooperation and assistance authorities. And for that purpose, we needed to modify the program that was already being put in place at the different areas. And we had to guarantee certain condition. That is when by 2009, we started to hire a professional that will be in charge of that network and then we call it communal or municipal responsible. And then we have been given different activities to undertake. We can share them throughout our uh, website. And then we have specified the role of that a person that is in charge of municipal coordination, who he has to contact. He is provided with certain tools to work at a local level, which is not easy. And we have opportunity charts or maps uh, to see the uh, possibilities that we have, how they have to address the families, 
how they can uh, promote the offer in the different areas and give them a technical assistance, accompaniment for the implementation at a regional level. Chile, at the regional level, also has a representative of Chile Grows With You on the 16 regions of our country. Those are the regional per officers that accompany this com municipality networks and to address all the topics that are not being solved or the lack of offer that would be at a certain moment with management or opportunities. They make uh, the demand at the central level and then we take care of it. So we also have to work on the technical issues and we have to be working with the municipality networks uh, jointly with health to the extent possible. We try to go together to the field to call for the participation of the teams, not only at the municipality uh, co or coordinator level, but with other teams that are on the field. And we want to perform make perfect what is going on at the uh, municipal level, that is the field level. On my behalf, I would only add that due to the time, I think that we have to conclude. I want to thank our panel members for their so interesting intervention and their valuable time in that willingness to share their experiences and knowledge with us. We want to thank all our audience that has joined us today. I hope to see you on our next presentation of this series of webinar that will be next year on 2020. Uh, shortly, we will be informing you about the topic and the country that will be presenting its program. We thank you all for your attendance and your participation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Muchas gracias a todos también. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Adiós. Bye.